Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I like Bitcoin. I hold up Bitcoin. I love all colors of Bitcoin. I have a Bitcoin tattoo. Yes, and I know all of you, most of you, are freaking out at the moment because Bitcoin is crashing, 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 crashing to where? That is exactly what I'm going to answer today's video. I'm going to try to make it as beautiful and clear as possible for you guys to understand what is happening. Yes, we can't expect all these dips. We don't know it. We don't have a glass ball, but we can see the support levels and we can see where that we could find the support and go up from here. It is a really cool TA video. I'm going to take time for it. So maybe a little bit longer this time, but I want you to understand what is happening in the market. Let's jump into the charts. Let's jump into the first chart, guys. Bam. This one. This is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, yes, we are freaking out because we broke that support area. Then we broke that support area. And now we are even breaking this support area. We are now at the moment at 37,730. Um, this should have been a support area. This is very strange that we are breaking all these areas, but that's because a lot of people have weak hands and are dumping the price. We could fall all the way to the next support area, guys, which would be, let's say, around 36 and then 34 even. And then we are almost at the 30K level, guys. And we didn't expect that a week ago. We still thought, man, that will be a golden cross. We are going to go 20K up to 80K. And now there we are at 30K. Welcome to Bitcoin. But now, please don't freak out. Please start to zoom out. I'm going to show you why. Let's take a look at the first chart that helps you to see what is going to happen um, in the future this chart bam this is the day chart it is a very important chart at the moment do you see this red line in the bottom that is the 200 day moving average we should be finding support at that level that level is now at 39,400. That is a very important level to keep support. Yes, we can have a wick down below it, but the body should be closing above that line. And that's in 11 hours and 10 minutes. That's the first thing we are going to look at. If we would break that level, guys, that would be not that positive. Because always when we break these levels um, of the 200 day moving average, we do see a bigger drop. And that is, um, let's for example, over here, there we saw this here we broke the level we saw that huge drop of 30 percent here we broke that level again it's very small now but we broke it and we fell ah, did he, what are you doing we broke it over there and i need to delete that first we broke it over there and then we saw again this huge drop there bam also 60 56 percent drop so we need to find support if we find support everything okay if we don't find support 30k could be the next target guys yes my face is not as happy as usual because also i don't like bitcoin around 30k i would like to see bitcoin around around 60k 80k 100k but that is what we can see on this chart bam this is the weekly chart this is the chart we need to look at this sunday this is the weekly candle. We need to close this candle above the 21 EMA. If we don't close above the 21 EMA, that is also a bearish sign. And even telling us we could fall to 34K, this area again, indeed, here. Um, where is the next support line in the Fibonacci retracement in the logarithmic growth curve? All of these lines are important support levels and Fibonacci retracement levels. So, yes, if we break this line, we could fall to that line. But let's see, we must not freak out. Sometimes you just need to zoom out. It's the mid of the week. We always know that the Friday and in the weekend, again, many traders trade positive as well. Let's get a beautiful overview on the charts in this one as well here. Bam. This, of course, is the total volume. I need to see if my face is still um, in the screen here. 
get is so I need to put myself over there now this is which is more which is better this is on glass note guys you can see the total transfer volume to exchanges you see that since that we have been dropping with price more and more people are sending their bitcoins to exchanges and that means people want to sell 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 that's why they send to exchanges but now we can see here at the end that the amount of bitcoins going to exchanges is dropping again so people are pulling out their bitcoins which means that this price over here could be the bottom price around this 40k 36 to 40 36,000 to 40k and then people will again flow their bitcoins of the exchanges and when they want to sell that is the moment that bitcoin goes up in price they will flow it into the exchanges also really cool chart bam tensor charts tensor charts are so sure <laughs> showing us the support region we can see these bright green areas here 34 36 these are the support regions to look at also these are telling us the same regions of support as all the charts these green areas it's difficult for us to break them because there is a shitload of support do we have any more positive charts this one bam here the bitcoin my are multiple i'm saying positive charts because positive to me is when you can buy the dip this is the moment you have all been waiting for oh diddy we are going to high when should i buy now this is when you should buy but why didn't you tell me that you that we should have sold yes i can't predict the future like i said many times we don't know when we dip this high and when it dips you need the positive out of it the glass is not half empty the glass is half full when you dip you buy this is here mm. Bitcoin Maya multiple every time when we see these huge sell-offs these dips are the best moments to buy look to the left look to the left to the left on the street and look what every time here we dip this huge dip here blah, 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 down and look the price went up here huge dip da, 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 down and look the price went up look huge dip down yes we don't know how far the dip will be but it could be till here and then the price will again go up also plan b guys yes you can see this red line it's the bitcoin line in the 2017 bull run we even moved continuously down below that um, line you can see that the dark blue line we only came above it during the run to the peak this bull run we have been moving above this line for a long time so it's not bad that we correct down below that blue midline it doesn't mean that the bull run is over it means that we see a correction an opportunity to buy and as you see here in 2017 i'm going to look at 2017 you can see we touched the bottom of that blue cloud many times and every time when you touch that bottom of the blue cloud that would be a buying opportunity we are not even near that bottom of the blue cloud we could go near the bottom of the blue cloud and that would be a buying opportunity to maybe sell later above 100k where the blue line is as well all of these charts are very important guys um, let's jump into the next charts i'm going to bomb you with charts today sorry i just need to show all these charts so you get this feeling you can make up your own mind what to do at the moment bam this is what we are now seeing this is the dips we saw this bull run a 30 percent dip we saw this bull run um we saw this dip over there we saw a 25 dip 27 percent dip we saw a 35 percent to 40 percent dip at the moment depends where we will be falling can be a little bit bigger dip to 40 percent even and yes these are the moments we freak out and if you look back into these three dips every dip would have been a beautiful buying opportunity if you would have bought that dip you would have had that run if you would have bought that dip you would have had that run if you would buy let's say this dip you would have that run and why do i think that this is going to be a run because if you look at 2017 bam we saw the same if you bought the 38 percent dip over there you would have made a shitload of profit if you would have bought that dip over there you would have made a shit if you would have bought that dip you would have made a shitload of profit if you would have bought that 33 percent dip you would have made a shitload of profit if you would have bought that 40 percent dip almost 40 percent you would have made a shitload of profit the 30 cent percent dip you would have made a shitload of profit and even this last dip eh, that you could buy at seven thousand dollar bitcoin you again would have made a shitload of profit these dips all of them are part of the market these dips are part of the game 
these dips are the moments we have the most fear these dips are the moments that i even have the feeling like i want to sell everything now because it's going to crash lower and i learned and i thought to myself these are the moments that i feel that oh my i'm dead uh, you know fuck it and th that's when i start to buy again yes i become zen i look at the sea i think didi don't freak out zoom out buy that dip i need to tell me that myself that as well so all the newcomers i can imagine how you are feeling at the moment it's terrible i don't like this feeling but it is the moment to buy the dip and if you look at this chart that was uh, uh, drawn in the beginning of this uh, year somewhere and um, this guy i think it was may he drew this because he said if we look at the 2017 dips and runs this could be the way bitcoin is going to move during this 2021 run and he drew that blue line at that moment and you know this guy was pretty right you know we had indeed these runs over here and we are coming down maybe it end we're going to do that again and then we are at 120k and we don't want to sell because we think we go to 200k oh shit and we drop back again and we are thinking oh my god why didn't i sell and then this is volatile as fuck 220 down all the way to 400 down this could be it's not a price prediction it is just showing if we would have the volatility if 2017 this is how the bull market could look this year and it could end up even in 2022 but you know above 100k still this year that is the target so for me target 100k this year still on still on guys i'm not freaking out i'm not selling i'm buying more here another beautiful chart uh, made by um, charles btc let's see where my face is okay my face is completely wrong of course in this chart so i'm going to switch it i don't want to add it too much i hope i don't didn't make too much mistakes but on this chart as well guys just look at the chart the blue line is the bitcoin halving run after the halving so the blue line is the halving is, is the run of the bitcoin price after the halving and the halving was in 2012 and then bitcoin went up i'm going to draw again because you can see it more clear and then bitcoin went up we had the first sell-off everybody was freaking out and we started to climb a little bit and then we had the bam the bull run the huge acceleration in the last part of the bull run now look at the green line that is after the halving of 2016 so that's the bull run of 2017 we went up 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 up, up. bam that first sell-off and then we go went up again and we had another sell-off and then bam we went into the bull run and now look at the black line that is after the third halving of may 2020 that is the price we are now in yes we went up 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 up, up. we had a sell-off we went up again there's a huge sell-off and then probably the price is going to do the same like it did always it's going to go up and that is also in line with the um you know the psychology of the people the takeoff the sell-offs the enthusiasm the greed the new paradigm <laughs> paradigm uh, denial the return to normal and the fear and the capitulation all these phases we go through in our in our in our head you know in our whole complete um mindset because it's a volatile market it's a roller coaster ride and it will start by the awareness and we'll go into the mania and it will go to the blow off phase and all these phases we are going to walk through we haven't seen those yet we are now just in the awareness phase and yes there is a huge sell-off and yes that is very scary but again for me that is the moment to buy bitcoin guys i can't make it more clear than this bam i hope I could explain a little bit better with this video why i am not freaking out why i do feel a little bit nah, shit man i should have sold at 60k every time again you feel this you should have sold at 60k you could have bought more bitcoins back at 40k or you just huddle you trade with the trading you make more bitcoins so you um, accumulate bitcoins during all the dips and everything with bots with manual trading with indicators and you get a little bit less stress because you know i am all in we are all in my whole family is all in i can see my capital going a few hundred k up and down up and down up and down every a few hundred k every day up down up down i'm not freaking out guys 
and I know that you are not in it with that probably not in it with them as much money as we are but I know the feeling is the same if you're in it with 2k and you won't don't want to lose the 2k you feel the same when we drop for a few hundred dollars if you're in it with the few let's say a lot of money <laughs> I'm still not going to uh, tell you exactly how much uh, but then you feel it as well you know you feel it but please always remember zoom out in Bitcoin on these moments zoom in at life at the moments try to enjoy every single minute of the day shut down your laptop go swim in the sea go do something you love and open it again in a couple of days and hopefully then the price is back at the level you want it to be and if not if it's lower you buy a little bit more i have about fifty thousand us dollar left in uh, usd dollar theater i am now looking into buying the dip so now a little bit, maybe if we dip a little bit more, I will buy a little bit more. And when we go up a little bit, I will go all in again with that 50,000 US dollar theater as well. I hope the video was clear. If the video was clear and if you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment what do you think about these charts. And um, are these videos helpful or do you like my t-shirt? Look all these beautiful colors of Bitcoin looks like almost the Fibonacci retracement or um, I'm not saying the Fibonacci, <laughs> the EMA ribbon. Which EMA ribbon? The EMA ribbon, Didi, that you forgot to talk about. Oh, did I forget to talk about? Yes, bam, I forgot to talk about this one. I will show you what I forgot to talk about, of course. Oh, Didi, you're so, so bad. It's so, I'm, 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 I'm so unstructured, but I forgot to talk to you guys about on this one here on the weekly here on the weekly I could have uh, turned on the EMA ribbon which is <laughs> the same beautiful colors as my t-shirt has and yes you can see the support lines and the midline of this one here at 38,740 that is the important line we should be finding support of the EMA ribbon same colors as the Bitcoin t-shirt now I think that was really the end so for all the ones that um, <clears throat> already closed because they didn't want to see the end uh, of my video you missed that one <laughs> thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again enjoy your day guys enjoy your day to the fullest don't freak out zoom out see you tomorrow again or later today in the family video and bam